beautiful morning. Do you want cereal? You don't want to eat? Okay. What do you want to do? You want to go for a ride somewhere? Well, we're not going to go for a ride yet, but we can do breakfast and I have a project that we had to work on. Good job. That cereal. Nice job. Woo, girl. Why don't you get your bowl and spoon and I'll get the cereal for you. You want banana? Yeah. Will you put that in the trash? Finding the milk. We have a project that we need to work on today. This will be fun. A little success for the future. What you got? What is that? What is your problem? Hey, wait a sec. Come here, let's talk about that. What's your deal? What is this called? What's it called? So close. Magazine, good job. Nice. You just need loving, you know what it is? You just need all the pets. Ooh, that scared you. That scared you. Yep, we have a project that we have to work on today. And maybe it'll help one of you guys. Ow! Who does that? Who does that? I want you to know, the whole internet just saw how mean you are. The whole internet you should be ashamed. Something that we needed for this project might have just arrived. No, that's not it. That's okay, we can still start the project without it. I'm waiting on a printer. This is dumb. This is so dumb. I own a printer, right? Like, obviously, adulting and stuff. It's got this error code that keeps popping up. I mean, it stays popped up, like it won't work. And it's like the contacts for the ink cartridges aren't right or registering or something. So I replaced the ink cartridges. That didn't work. Tried cleaning the contacts. Nothing, nothing is working. I reset the printer. Nothing has worked. I bought a new printer for $10 more than the ink cartridge cost. And it comes with three months free of ink. And it uses the same ink cartridges that this one does. It's so wasteful though. Like this big old chunk of plastic is just gonna go in the trash. The advancement in technology that we've seen over the last 20 years is just absolutely mind blowing. Like think about like not even like AI or you know the development of those kind of things like super smart technology, just like basic everyday stuff that you use. Why can't we get printers that actually work, that actually function, that don't disconnect all the time? I can, I can send photos to someone on the other side of the world in seconds, but I can't print a four page document without some kind of error popping up. It just loses connection. Like it just doesn't even know who I am. It's not even sure that this computer is in the same room. It has no clue. But you know you're getting a printer rant today. Are you making sure I'm doing a good job? Are you, you who you are? You're the, oh, you still want to go for a ride? Yeah, um, we are going to. I've got to get this done first though, okay? Promise you, we will. Promise. Let me set you guys up. Okay, you can get this app for um, iPhone, iPad, Android, whatever. But it's called it's called GoDaddy Studio. And oh, you're not supposed to see that. Go away. 
uh, what we're gonna make here, I'm just gonna get a white sheet, uh, roughly three by four, so as close to a piece of paper as possible. And you can use uh, the free version. I, th I think there's a free version of this app, but if you have, like if you make any kind of graphics, like you're a teacher or you know, I use it to make thumbnails, um, any kind of happy birthday announcements, like, like flyers, literally anything. And especially if you're making picture schedules, this is a really great, really great app. So I made a list of, we're gonna start with the reinforcing items. So. Uh, car wash, YouTube, golf cart ride, dailies, go outside, stuff like that. And I'm gonna import pictures into this and we're gonna make our our layout. We need photos first. I've got, what do I have? I have golf cart, we need some photos. Hi, hello. Just kinda startled me, I'm not gonna lie. We got it. Hooray. Okay, we're back. We took some photos. So first thing to do, take your photos and crop them into squares. And I wanna make sure that the subject in the photo is as big as possible. And I'm gonna use recognizable stuff. So it's like our living room with YouTube pulled up in our living room, right? Again, just crop them all into squares because that's what we're working with but yeah got a new magazine as well almost forgot to add that one to the list there's our favorite car wash we're just gonna send all these to the ipad okay so then we're gonna start adding our images in and it's gonna be a four by three so four photos by three you can kind of you know adjust it here there depending on how big you want the photos to be and we'll just we'll just uh, throw them up all up there first and then make adjustments. It's really helpful if you have kind of high contrast and very bright photos, because they stand out more. On this app, this is really cool because like, say I don't want to use that much ink, right? Or like the focus is just the, the main thing in the picture. You can uh, remove the background on things. So it's just the item itself um if if that's what you're going for i'm not going to do that uh for the car watch photo just because it's it actually pops more stands out more when it's uh when it's got the blue sky now a sheet of paper isn't exactly three by four so you know make sure you have room on the border just for just to fix it as needed get all these lined up and then what we're going to do is we're going to add words to it because that's where i screwed up before was not adding words to it. And the reason why is because we're working on sight words at the same time, right? I'm going with all caps. The reason why I'm going with all caps, the military uses all capital letters for a reason. That reason is it's easier to distinguish between letters when you're doing all capital letters because there are no capital letters that look similar to each other, whereas lowercase letters can be very similar. But yeah, I wanna add words to everything. That way she's not just seeing pictures, she's also reading words and identifying those sight words, you know? And over time, like that way, you know, car wash isn't just a picture to her. It also has a word that represents that picture. Okay, we filled up our first sheets. So we're ready to print. Print. Printer. New printer. So when you get the print preview, you can kind of see and like make sure that you have it lined up. Like everything's gonna be within the borders. It should give you, should give you a good idea what it's gonna look like. Okay, so what you can do, you don't have to have you don't have to have a fancy paper cutter. You don't have to have an iPad with an Apple pencil or a laminating machine or anything like that. Um, I do have a laminating machine, but I have no idea where it is. So I have to find it. But what you can do is you could use packing tape, lay out a strip of packing tape, sticky side up, and then just lay each one of these on 
the packing tape with about that much space in between each one of them. Um, then you put another strip over the back of that, push it all down, you know, sticky side up on the table, put your, put your pieces down, sticky side down to make a little sandwich, and then you cut them out. And that's that would be an easy way of doing that as well. The laminating machines can be more durable, they're gonna last longer. Um, and then all we need is Velcro dots. You could make your own version of this. Um, I bought this one off of Amazon, I'll link it down below. This is just her, her chore chart, but the Velcro dots on the back of these stick right to it. And then when she completes a task, she pulls it off and puts it in the envelope up top to reset. You could use little, they have little adhesive magnets that you can get um, on Amazon. These Velcro dots are on Amazon. I'll put the link for everything down below. You could do the magnets on a refrigerator. Just have like an area in your refrigerator that's designated for the tour chart if you wanted to do it that way. Lots of options. Okay, that's a good start because we've got 12 new new icons. I didn't just do reinforcers. I did some tasks as well, like you guys saw. So uh, we'll, we'll add as we go. And I wanted to have enough to change up and have decent variety every day for her, but then enough consistency that she's learning new goals as she progresses. Are you excited for your new chores? <laughs> you are, you're a liar. Do you want to say, you want to say bye to them? Wait, up here. Bye. Close it up. You want to close? I'll do it.